Okay, and this is going to be the last example that I do of this because there's only four situations um, for factoring trinomials of this form, and this is the last situation. It has to do with the signs. Okay, once again, it starts with an x squared, so it has to be x times x. And then you go to the last term, which is a negative 45. And I'm like, okay, 1 times 45 is 45. 2 doesn't work. 3 times 15 is a 45. 4 doesn't work. 5 times 9 is 45. 6 doesn't work. 7 doesn't work. 8 doesn't work. 9, I've got. So I'm done. There are three pairs of numbers that multiply to give you 45. But keep in mind, you're looking for the pair that would add up to, or when you combine them, would give you a positive 12. Now remember, that 45 is a negative. So one of these has to be positive and the other one has to be negative. So you're looking for the pair that subtracts to give you the 12, and that's going to be the 3 and the 15. The difference between 3 and 15 is 12. However, I have a positive 12 here. So that means I need more positives. My 15 has to carry the positive sign and the 3 has to carry the negative. So the way I wrote these numbers down here already, I put the plus sign first, so the 15 has to go here with the plus sign. And then the 3 goes there. And that is my answer. An x plus 15 times an x minus 3. And just to show you again, if I wanted to check myself, if I FOIL it, first times first, first times first, that is my x squared. If I multiply my outsides, I'd get a negative 3x. If I multiply my insides, there's a positive 15x. And then last times last, positive 15 times negative 3 is a negative 45. And of course, these two here do add up to a positive 12x. So there it is, x squared plus 12x minus 45. That is the correct answer. And that is factoring trinomials of the form x squared plus something x and plus something. Um, the difference is, you know, what's the difference between the four situations? It has to do with the signs here. You can have, um, can't find another color. Oh, how about, I'll go with the yellow, I guess. Ah, sorry, where did I go? There it is. <laughs> you can have, here, let me erase that. <laughs> you can have two pluses. You can have a minus and a plus. You can have a plus and a minus, or a minus and a minus. Those are the four situations, and I did examples of all four. I did, this was my example one, this was my example two, this one was my example three, and this was my example four. So, I did one example of each kind. Hope you enjoyed watching.